In this video, we'll take a look at how to calculate the point by serial correlation coefficient in SPSS. And in this example on your screen, we have two variables, volume, where people studied for an exam, either with no volume or no music, or they studied with music being played at a high volume level. And people were in one or the other group. And then after studying under one of those two conditions, they took an exam, and you can see the exam scores here in this variable. So to calculate a point by serial correlation coefficient, what we want to do is, first of all, make sure that we have two variables where one is continuous or measured at an interval or ratio level, and then the other is categorical, and in particular, it's dichotomous, meaning people have one of two levels. There's only two levels to the variable. As you can see here, we have, for volume, people either have a one or a two. And note here that even though the assignment of these numbers is totally arbitrary, that the two is, in fact, the high volume, and the one is the low volume, or no volume, I should say. Okay, so one is no volume, and two is high volume. Okay, so we have a dichotomous variable and a continuous variable. And in this situation, this is where we can use the point by serial correlation coefficient. So to calculate the point by serial, we go to Analyze, and then Correlate, and then select Bivariate. Go ahead and select the two variables and move them over to the right. And then we're going to leave the default option Pearson selected. And in fact, as you can see here, a point by serial correlation coefficient, even though one of our variables is dichotomous, not continuous, the point by serial correlation really is just a special case of Pearson's R. It's just a normal Pearson correlation coefficient. And it got this special name back in the olden days when people would do a lot of calculations by hand. And the point by serial had a special formula that was a little easier or quicker to calculate than the regular Pearson's R. But it really is just running a Pearson's R. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So click OK. And then here we get our output. And as you can see here, we have the correlation table presented. And the correlation between exam scores and volume is negative 0.54 with a p-value of 0 0.014. And that is, in fact, significant. And the correlation is negative, which means that higher scores on volume, the 2 here compared to the 1, is associated with lower exam score since it's negative. So people under the 2 condition had significantly lower exam scores on average than people under the one condition. And recall that the one and the two corresponded to no music and high volume, respectively. Now, to look at this in a little more detail, to get a little better understanding of what's going on here, let's go ahead and make a scatter plot. So we'll go to Graphs, and then Legacy Dialogs, and then select Scatter Dot. And here we're going to use the simple scatter default option. So click Define. And then we want to put our dichotomous variable on the x-axis. So that would be volume. So go ahead and move that to the x-axis box. And then put exam scores in the y-axis box. And that looks good. So go ahead and click OK.